Olaf here from Luanet Solar Energy in Central Florida. As you can see, I was working, and I am working still, on my flatbed trailer, a 20 foot flatbed, 7 feet, a little bit over 7 feet wide. Um, the base was actually a mobile home, um, and I modified it so much that it actually became a full flatbed. It's the steel deck. Um, pretty much no wood whatsoever except for a little bit in the front uh, storage area. But one problem I always had was actually uh, where to put my spare tire. Um, since I have four tires on and one spare, I just want to make sure I have one always handy when I'm breaking down on the side of the road. And so I came up with um, copying that, what semis use. As you can see, um, I built the bracket out of angle iron, which is one inch and one eighth thick. And I cut it and bend it so that this eight ply 14.5 inch tire, or eight inch wide actually, is uh, fitting into that slot. Uh, I measured both tires and came to 27 inches in diameter. So I designed the gap to be 30 inch uh, in case one of the tires is going to be bigger and the height is 10 inches and so um, as you can see I'm pointing out with the finger right now that um, the tire will rest in the back side um, pretty much two-thirds in and has to be welded onto that uh, channel iron um, which is underneath my trailer and as you can see, I use some flat stock, which is one inch wide, also by a one eighth thick flat stock, um, just to bridge the gap there. And I had to make weld um, today with a flux core. As you can see from uh, the ratchet strap, um, it is pretty windy, so my shielding gas wouldn't have covered my welds. So I had to do a flux core with an O30 and pretty much on highest setting with that little MIG welder. It's a Lincoln MIG welder, Weld Pack 100 I used here. Uh, it's very lightweight, um, does do the job very well if you're using 1 8 uh, or thinner. Uh, you can work a little bit uh, thicker too, like 3 16 but that's pretty much the limit of that machine. Uh, you can trick it by using a little bit of a smaller diameter uh, in order to get a better heat transferred over to your um, weld, but that's pretty much it. So the ratchet strap, as you can see it, I used it to actually secure this um, tire holder um, underneath the um, trailer so I can actually weld with both hands while it's being pretty much tied in place. And as you can see, here's a little bit of a gap. Um, I would say that's an eighth of an inch, but uh, not a problem. If you know how to use a MIG gun, it's very easy to actually fill that little bit um, with material and bond it to the I-beam um, which is above which is actually a 10 inch high and 3 inch wide I-beam uh, very commonly used in mobile home uh, trailers um, especially the older generations, newer ones are a little bit different but uh, this was an old mobile home uh, trailer first before um, we converted it over into a flatbed, shortened it a little bit for now, so it's only 12 foot long. But now I'm pointing right now out with my finger where I'm gonna weld on the chain and um, pretty much discuss right now how you can remove the tire on the side of the road in case you're breaking down. Uh, so the reason why I put it on the right side is um, because we're driving here on the right side in the road here in the United States, so when you actually go on to that um, lane or pretty much on the side of the road uh, you have easier access to it if you are actually accessing it from the right so that's why I place it on the right side uh, front section of the trailer and it's also high enough off the ground I, I didn't really measure it but it's over a foot of clearance from the bottom section of that frame down to the uh, road surface so there's enough ground clearance so it will not catch on anything actually the um, A-frame um, 
trailer tongue there I'm pointing out right now, which is the jack stand, um, is actually higher uh, than the frame, but uh, when you put it down level like I did it right now, you see that there's plenty of clearance. Um, this is actually an AAC block, uh, so it's a concrete foam block. Um, if you're not familiar with it, look it up. It's an awesome product. Um, it's being manufactured here in the US um, in Hain City, very close to me. So now you can see actually, the, I slid the tire in, so you have a really good idea what it really looks like with the tire uh, being slid in. Um, I still didn't have the chain welded on because I couldn't find the chain. So later on I actually ran over quickly to a tractor supply and got me the right chain, a galvanized one. And sorry for the camera being a little shaky, I just did it with one hand laying on the floor. And so you can see pretty good that it's lined up so that the tire is not sticking out further than actually the two tires in the, from the axle itself. So DOT will not give me any heartaches and also it does not reach out beyond the deck. So it's pretty much tucked away and as you can see also it's slid into the holding bracket pretty much two thirds in. So when you actually take off the chain, which um, you will see here in a moment, uh, you can actually remove the chain without worrying about the tire being falling down onto the floor or coming towards you. Um, there's also enough drag, uh, the tire laying on that um, angle iron, that it actually will not slide out without you pulling actually on it. But um, it actually worked out very nicely. Um, it took me a little bit longer because I was running out of MIG wire, so I had to run over and get some more MIG wire uh, because I normally don't carry it or stock it. But there, now you can see it, I welded it on, I used um, a hook there uh, from the chain itself, welded it on and uh, used um, a combine quickly just to secure it for now till I swap it out with a better um, hook, um, which is stainless and not rusting. Uh, the chain itself is galvanized. And as you can see, I moved the chain to both sides of the tire, just making sure that the tire cannot pop out uh, while while I move on the road, um, the, since the chain is pretty loose there. But pushing it over and pulling around, you can see that the tire is in. Even it, it looks like uh, it might come out, but it's not coming out. So once that hook, uh, which I used for now, just for the demonstration of this video, uh, will be changed out to a smaller hook, then it will actually be much tighter and the tire will not even come out that far. So as you can see there's a little bit of a slack. Uh, I just try to figure out something which uh, makes it much more snug. But that's pretty much the video, so thanks for watching and if you need other ideas or other solutions for trailers, uh, give us a call. We're down here in Central Florida, we're covering pretty much all Florida. You can reach us over the web lse.solar.